In this video, we're going to be talking about the new DJI Ronin SC in the Black Magic Box Cinema Camera 4K. You know where this is going. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, I'm not going to do an unboxing because a lot of people already did that. We're going to go ahead and take out just the essentials, which is this little handle right here. We're going to take out the actual body itself. And man, that is super, super tiny. That looks great. I'm going to put that right there for now. We're definitely going to need the plate, which that is smaller than the DJI Ronin S. And let's go ahead and take this, the stand that comes with it. Should be everything we need for now. So I'm going to go ahead and um, close this and put this to the side. So let's go ahead and put this baby together. Now I didn't really, I really didn't read anything into this just yet. Um, looks like there's an unlock button, which is kind of nice. Now, find out how... Okay, so it has an unlock button on all of the, um, all of the axes, which is really cool. So you can see right there, with this little camera right there. That's neat. Huh, <laughs> I like that. Um, let's go ahead and make sure that that's locked for sure. Let's go ahead and put it on the... Uh, thing here now as you all know this smaller Ronin SC has maybe a little bit half of the capacity and weight load as as of the Ronin S compared to the Ronin S it's around 4.5 pounds and uh, coincidentally enough this setup right here with the pocket 4k let's take the lens hood off uh, the little lens cap off is around 4.5 pounds as well so what we're going to try and do today is can we put this setup on this thing and run it i have no idea if this is going to work but this is what we're doing the video for right okay it snaps in and you can automatically see that it's it's right there you know you're not going to be able to take the memory card out that's for sure i'll show it right here in this camera it's pretty maxed out so it snaps in so that's a good thing next thing we're gonna find out is if it balances it something is hitting it already oh the bottom the bottom knob right here is hitting the bottom of this thing all right so I'm gonna try and lift it up just a little bit nope not gonna work That was a bust. Okay guys, so the Sigma 1835mm will not work with the Pocket 4K and the Ronin SC, unfortunately, but I know a lot of you guys out there were already asking me about this. So the next setup we're gonna go over is my favorite contact size MMJ lens. It's a manual lens. I'm gonna install it in the Pocket 4K and we're gonna try and see if this will work with this setup. This is a lot lighter, it's a lot smaller than the Sigma 1835. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna take this out. Put the lens cap on, put it there for now. Then we have the contact Zeiss with a little uh, adapter so I can mount it on an EF mount. Right here is the Metabones EF to Micro Four Thirds Smart Adapter. It is not the speed booster. So yeah, just to give you a heads up. So I put this on here. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this. Take two. Man, that is still left heavy. This camera alone is very, very heavy. Left heavy, that is. And I also have the cage here, so it doesn't really help that I have the cage there. But what I'm going to try to do is get a counterweight right here and maybe that'll work. Because this setup right here, this camera setup right here is only two pounds. So it should work. You can see that it's just going to the left side of it. All right, guys, I'm back. I have here a cheap counterweight gimbal system for a cell phone gimbal. And I'm going to try and see if it will work here. I only got four weights with it. So you can see right there. Um, 
so you can see it's really heavy it's so left heavy then I don't know if this is gonna help at all but basically what we're gonna do is just install it right here to see if we can kind of lean it to the right a little bit and just screwing it in there mm -mm. It's still not heavy enough. That's crazy. It's just so wide. That's the only problem with it. <sighs> hmm. All right, guys. So unfortunately, to answer your guys' question about the DJI Ronin SC in the Pocket 4K, you can see that it's not gonna work, even if I take this cage off, because the only reason why this camera can fit on this uh, gimbal right now is because of the offset down here from the cage so if I take this off I'm not going to be able to fit this camera because of the hole at the bottom of the pocket 4k so to answer your question will the Ronin SC work with the pocket 4k unfortunately no